All right, so Linda posted on Facebook, uh, I have discovered ants in my apple tree. How can I get rid of them? Well, here's the thing. Uh, ants themselves are not typically a problem for apple trees. Ants don't eat apples. They typically don't cause problems in apples. But this is a classic example of where sometimes you can see one thing and use it as a diagnostic tool to kind of guide you towards maybe an underlying problem. And I think that's exactly what we have going on here. And I think what she's dealing with are aphids. So chances are these ants are probably uh, coming in and feeding on the honeydew that's being excreted by the aphids. And a lot of times these aphids can be hard to find because they're going to be hiding in these curled up little leaves in the apple tree. Uh, we're going to go outside in my yard and take a look at my trees and I'll kind of show you exactly uh, what I think is going on here. All right, so your apple trees are just starting to lose some of their flower heads, their flower buds, and you're starting to get little apples on here and you get all excited and you come out and look. And you might notice you have a lot of ants on your apple tree. Uh, you may also notice you have a lot of lady beetles on your apple tree. And you might actually notice that you've got a lot of these curling leaves in here, like this. And you might think, gee, what's going on here? Well, chances are what you're dealing with is an actual insect. It's called apple aphid or apple leaf curling aphid or something of that effect. Not woolly aphid. Woolly aphid is a different thing altogether. Um, and what happens is you get these little aphids that come in here. And I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. But they get inside the leaf here. And oh, look, there's a lady beetle too in there. Perfect. Okay, I don't know if you can see these little gray spots in here. I can't believe I got one with a lady beetle in it. What are the odds of that? And what happens is these little gray aphids, these tiny little guys right in here, these will start sucking the juices out of, out of the leaf and they cause the leaf to curl up like that. Okay, now these are not a huge problem on your apple tree. They can affect your fruit a little bit. They can um, affect your fruit to maybe be a little bit deformed or a little bit dwarfed but it's not a major problem for your apples uh, but it's something you want to keep in check you certainly don't want this to get out of control now here's the problem usually at this time of year your apple trees are still going to be in flower you're still going to have some nice flower heads in here you can see I've got some here and I've got some back here okay so you want to be very careful if, if you're going to go the spraying route, you want to be very careful because you're still going to have honeybees and other pollinators in here. So usually what I do in a situation like this is I like to use insecticidal soap. If I see a, a pretty heavy infestation like this, I'll use insecticidal soap. Uh, well, I'll come in like in the early evening when the honeybees are gone and a lot of your pollinators aren't going to be around. Uh, insecticidal soap is, is really nice for a situation like this because it's strictly a contact insecticide. It's not going to have any real residual effects. It's not going to kill insects for weeks down the road. You really have to spray the insect in order to affect it. It also doesn't have very much of an effect against hard-bodied insects like lady beetles because we want the lady beetles. The lady beetles are in here like we just saw. That lady beetle is in there eating the aphids. Okay. And we want that. And insecticidal soap is not going to really kill off lady beetles because they've got that hard shell. So I'll come in here in the early evening. I just did it last night. And I'll spray with insecticidal soap, try to kill off eh, maybe 50, 60 percent of these aphids. Okay, not interfering with the lady beetles. This way the lady beetles can continue to come in and eat the aphids, which we want them to do that. But what we're doing is we're kind of putting things more in balance. There might be too many aphids on the tree for the lady beetles to... Uh, effectively control but if we can eliminate 50 or 60 percent of them with the insecticidal soap then the beetles can come in and hopefully clean up the rest of the mess now the ants come in you might find ants on your trees too and what happens is the aphids when they feed they excrete a liquid it's called honeydew and it's a sugary substance and the ants are attracted to that so the ants actually like that honeydew so they come into the tree going after the honeydew and they're not really hurting your tree they're just feeding off of the excretions of the aphids 
the beetles, the lady beetles, are in there eating the aphids. And the trick is, is to try to uh, get this to the point where it's uh, controllable. You want to kind of balance things out. So insecticidal soap in the early evening, okay, this way your, your, your pollinators are gone. So you're not going to hurt your pollinators. You can maybe knock out 60 or so percent of your aphids. So you're putting things more in balance so that the lady beetles can come up and clean up the rest. And hopefully this will kind of put things into a, a check where your tree is healthy, you're not damaging your beneficial insects, you're not damaging your pollinators. And another thing that I'll do sometimes after I do the insecticidal soap spray, which we just did, um, is I'll just go around and I'll pick off leaves. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll look for these leaves that are heavily infected. Now this lady beetle, we want this lady beetle here, so we're going to... We're going to let her go. But a lot of these uh, leaves that are heavily infested, see what happens is because these leaves curl up like this, and the insecticidal soap is a contact insecticide, a lot of the aphids are protected in there. Even when I spray them with the insecticidal soap, a lot of them are not going to get the coverage they need. Okay? So I'll take some of these leaves off and I'll just kind of smash them up. The ones that are really heavily infected, I'll smash them up. And I'll feed these to my chickens. I'll throw them in a bag, take them out back, feed them. My chickens will love these. And so this way I'm physically removing some of the big, heavier populations. The insecticidal soap is going to clean up some of the stragglers around here. And again, we're not hurting beneficials, we're not hurting pollinators, and hopefully this will uh, create a situation where everything can kind of balance itself out. Well, the lady beetles that are still left can hopefully eat up the aphids that are still left, and everything just kind of works out really nice. That's the trick to, to IPM, integrated pest management. You know, if you're gonna be working with pesticides and, and doing things like this, really try to uh, keep in mind exactly what you're doing so that you're not hurting the good things and you're just keeping the bad things in check and trying to create a, a balance. You're always trying to create a balance in your landscape. Now, if you've got a real bad infestation like this, or if this has been a chronic problem on your trees, there is another way that you can handle it. Uh, you know, like they say, sometimes an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And there is another way to go about this uh, that you can use to maybe kind of get a step ahead of the game. And what you can do is you can use that same product, that insecticidal soap, which is a very nice product. It's very benign. It's organically accepted. But those aphids that you're seeing on that tree right now, right at like petal fall, when the flower petals are starting to fall off and you see the ants and all that, they actually start getting onto your tree, what we call the mother aphid, the, the ones that kind of start the whole process. They're getting onto your tree much earlier in the season, back around uh, maybe tight cluster or pink. And in those time frames, that's when the mother aphids are actually getting on the plant, but you don't see them because they're not really doing anything. You can actually go out that early before the trees go into bloom at either petal fall or pink and you can do an application of insecticidal soap then and you might be able to knock a lot of those mother aphids out before they actually start their reproductive cycle and they start just laying eggs and having babies and, and you can kind of uh, catch this problem and significantly reduce it before it even has a chance to really start affecting your apple trees. I hope this video helped. Linda, I hope this is your problem and hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, and for a lot of people, it's a very common problem. I've got it, as you saw, I've got it on my apple trees. Uh, but I just figured I'd throw together a video. This is a nice way of dealing with these things without hurting your beneficials, without hurting your pollinators. And it, it's a very uh, benign way of taking care of it. It's just insecticidal soap. Thanks for watching.